I love them. Whoa, I can see my eyeball reflections in them. <gasps> so weird. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I don't know if that made any sense. It made sense in my head. A world that's full of happiness that I have never known. What's up, guys? So in today, I have a super... What? Today's video is super exciting because I leave for London tomorrow and I don't think my voice right now just portrayed the extreme excitement that I'm feeling but my roommate and I have been freaking out for the past week, past few weeks, past few months really knowing that we're going but every week and every day it gets more and more real and the time has come, we leave tomorrow. The way I just said that made me think of Effie Trinket. The time has come to select one courageous young man and woman for the honor of representing their district in the 25th, 74th annual Hunger Games. All right, that was enough. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I am taking to London. I'm going for 10 days, so I feel like this is a really good video for anyone who's packing for spring break, especially if you're going somewhere that's not super beachy or like tropical. But in general, um, I think this is just a helpful video for any time of the year, really, for packing, especially to go to, like, Europe. Because the weather in Europe is kind of the same year-round. Not completely, but more so than, like, Colorado or something. I'm going off on, like, a million tangents right now, so I'm just going to get started. I've got my trusty packing list here, which I will be running down the list of to show you all the stuff. So the first thing that I have on my list is underwear, socks um, bras, stuff like that. I have packed them all inside this pair of boots. If you can tell, this pair of boots is, like, full of stuff. These are Steve Madden, Madden Girl, um, boots, and I wore these when I studied abroad last spring. I wore these everywhere. I've waterproofed them. They're perfect for, like, rain, and they're just, they don't hurt my feet after a long day. These are just the ultimate boots, and I never, ever want to get rid of them. So here are my pajamas that I will be taking. I just have a plain t-shirt, which is from H&M, that says Beaumont, because it makes me think of Footloose. Um, silly, I know, but it's, that's me. And then a pair of just plaid red shorts. I'm taking a variety of different shirts. I began with this flannel. This is from Urban Outfitters, and it's just a plain black and white plaid flannel. And you're going to be able to tell that a lot of these clothes that I'm wearing are very bland in terms of color. They're kind of monochrome because I feel like that's the easiest way to pair different shirts with different bottoms, etc. So I like this because you can layer it or you can wear it on its own. So again, versatility is key. Then I have a sweater which is from Forever 21 and this is super cute. It has the shoulder cutouts which I absolutely love and it's this cream color and it's sort of cropped. So I like this because I can wear it with jeans. I could honestly wear it with my cute sweatpants or I could wear it with like a skirt. And then I also have this sweater which I got from Goodwill and I wore this all over Europe last time too. And it's this big baggy gray sweater and it's not that flattering, but I love big baggy sweaters. They're super comfortable, and you can wear them with anything. So I have this really cute crop sweatshirt from Forever 21, which has all these orange flowers on it. Again, most of the clothes that I'm taking I took with me when I studied abroad, and I kind of found out like which ones worked really well and which ones didn't. And I'm going back to like my trusty ones that I knew worked really well, and I wore them all the time. And if you ever see, not today, but in most of the back of my videos, you can see all these pictures on the back wall, and you can totally see, like, all of these clothes being worn in all of them. Then I have this red and creamish type striped shirt. It's like three quarters length sleeves, and it's pretty lightweight, so again, this is great for layering. Got a t-shirt, which is from Urban Outfitters, and this is this plain cream 
like super big and baggy, which I love. And then these last couple of shirts take up absolutely no space, which is why I'm taking all three of them. But these are for going out with my friends. And so I have this plain black crop cami, which is from Primark. So you guys look out in the next couple of weeks when I get back for a Primark haul and a like boots and super drug haul because I'm gonna go crazy while I'm there. And then I have this tank top from Brandy Melville, which is kind of the same as the other one except it's not a halter and it has the California Republic flag thing on the front. And then this last one is a plain gray um, crop, but it's a like muscle tank style. It's not as like loose, it's more tight fitting. And this is also from Primark. So for pants, I'm taking one pair of yoga pants from Victoria's Secret. These are just, they have like some numbers on the waistband. And then I've got a pair of boyfriend jeans from Bullhead. I think they're from PacSun. And then I've got a pair of dark gray. They're not quite black. They're like a light black or dark gray. Um, high-rise skinniest bullhead jeans from PacSun 2 and then I also have these really dark wash mud jeans from Kohl's these are also high-waisted skinny jeans so I have three different jean options and then my last pair is this pair of silver disco pants which are knockoff American apparel ones from Primark they cost like 10 pounds compared to like 80 bucks or however much the American apparel ones are and the cool thing about these is you can wear them in public like, obviously in public. You could wear these out to go out at night, obviously, because they're disco pants, but you could also wear them in day in everyday life, like to go see the sights or whatever, if you're wearing like a sweater and some boots. Like you can totally dress these down or dress them up, which is what I love about them. And then I've got a skirt as well. This is also from Primark. A lot of this stuff is from Primark. This skirt is, it's not velvet. It's the same shimmery material as the as the pants that I just showed and it's kind of like a maroon sort of color. Then I'm taking this scarf which is an infinity scarf from Primark again and it's mint colored. It's a lot brighter than it's showing up on camera but I love this. I don't wear it that often but the thing that I do love is that it is super big so you could wear it like a regular scarf or you could if you're on an airplane which is where I'm wearing it you could have it like a blanket and kind of like Cuddle yourself up in it. So this is, I'm now getting to the outfit that I'm wearing on the plane. I have, I'm going to wear that. I'm going to wear this um, bright hot pink, like, what even is this? A knit, very loose type sweater, kind of, with a just a plain white, like, wife beater tank top underneath it. And then these um, really cute sweatpants. That's the beauty of them, is they're cute. So you actually look like you put a little bit of effort into your outfit, even though they're really just glorified sweatpants. But they look like this, and then they kind of like taper in at the foot a little bit, if you can see that. They have a cuff at the bottom. Um, these are from American Eagle, I think. Yeah. And I wear these all the time. They're so comfortable, so they're perfect for a plane ride. And then I'm also going to be wearing my, lo my big jacket, because I want to pack as little like bulky things as I can. So I'm going to be wearing this pea coat. I'm also going to be taking this rain jacket. It's not supposed to rain extensively while I'm there, but it is London, so you've got to be prepared. So I will be taking this plain white rain jacket from North Face. In terms of shoes, I will be taking these boots that I already mentioned. I will also be taking these little booties, which I feel like are good Again, I could wear these around the city because they're super comfortable, or I could wear them like to Wicked. And then I'm also taking my white Keds. And I forgot to mention the shoes that I'll be wearing on the plane, which are these boots, which are also from Forever 21, and they're just super cute and super comfortable. On the plane, I will be taking this as my like underseat carry-on. This is just a huge backpack from Converse, but I have this bag of trolley Sour Bright eggs because they're delicious and I needed a snack for the plane. Some gum because you always need gum and a tampon. Even though my period already ended, this is probably TMI. I just always like to have a tampon in every bag just to be prepared. And then I have some chapstick and a headphone splitter. And then on the inside of the bag, I just have my bag that I'll be taking, which is this plain little brown leather bag, which I also got from Goodwill. All I have in here so far is like chapstick, Kleenex, a mirror. I first have my 
Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I can't take a shower without spraying this in my hair. Oh, it's hard to do and the name isn't on here. Some St. Ives Green Tea Scrub for my face. This looks gross in here. It looks like puke, but it smells really good and it works really well. And I've got some lotion in here, which is the St. Ives Coconut Milk and Orchid Extract, which smells freaking amazing. And then I've got my shampoo, which is the Herbal Essences Shine Collection Brilliance Shampoo, um, Garnier Fructis Argan Oil, because I use both of these after I get out of the shower. I have some, a mini eye makeup remover, which is just the Target brand, um, so there's that. And then I have some deodorant. I have a mini size shave gel, which is the Skin to Mint Raspberry Rain Shave Gel. And I have my Olay Complete Daily Defense moisturizer for my face. Then I have my facial wipes which are the Pond's Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelettes. Then I've got a razor to shave. Then I've got an umbrella. I've got a mini toothpaste which is just the 3D Crest White Radiant Mint toothpaste. I've got my trusty adapter. This thing is great. You can charge four different things at the same time. My one makeup piece that wouldn't fit in my makeup bag, which is my Brow Fix Brow Kit by Milani. Toothbrush, some Tylenol just in case, and then I have my Tweezerman tweezers, Q-tips. Next, I've got my chargers, obviously. So this is my phone charger, computer charger, camera charger. Then I've got a book because I always like to have a book on trips, and I just finished the Harry Potter series with my roommate. So now I'm going to read... Mary Poppins She Wrote, which is the book that inspired the movie Saving Mr. Banks. Then I've got a journal. This is just a little like cutesy journal with some snowmen on it, but I write in my journal every night before bed. Then I've got my passport, because I can't go out of the country without this. I've got my hairbrush. I've got some sunglasses, which are really cute. They're in the shapes of hearts. And they, I got these from a souvenir shop in London right outside of Harrods. Here's the little makeup bag that I'll be taking, which as you can see is chock full and I couldn't fit the eyebrow kit in here. But the other option was this huge thing and I didn't want to take that huge thing for this much makeup. Well, that is it, everyone. All right, so that is everything that I am packing. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you, again, have any suggestions for products that you think I should try while I'm in England, Definitely let me know in the comments because I will be going to Boots and Super Drug while I'm there. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, then definitely subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys with another video in a couple of weeks. Probably a Primark or Super Drug slash Boots haul. Both of which will be coming, but probably, like, I don't know which one's going to come first. So I will see you guys with another one of those really soon. And I hope you all have a fantastic couple of weeks.